Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eons of Battle, and today I'm going to show you how I paint computer screens. Here are the paints I'll be using. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing this effect off using some of the inside panels of the Rhino kit. First thing I did was I primed the model black. I'm using an airbrush to prime, but you could also use a rattle can black primer. And then once that had dried, I then base coated both of the panels with lead belcher. Now I'm doing two panels because on one of them, I'm going to be showing up how to do this effect with an airbrush. And on the other, I'll be showing how to do this effect with a brush. Once my base coat of lead belcher was dry, I then gave it a wash, a heavy wash of Games Workshop Null Oil. Now I went pretty heavy with this watch because I wanted a pretty high contrast in between the recesses and the raised edges of this piece. Once that was dry, I then began doing my OSL work. I used uh, Escorpina Green by Vallejo in my airbrush. I sprayed all of the larger screens on the model. Now most of this is gonna end up getting painted over. The only thing that's gonna stay is the little bit of spillover. And then to do it with a brush, I'm gonna be watering down my Escorpina Green about 50-50 with my thinner and then I'm just going to be layering it all around where the monitors are. As it dries, I'm going to be going over it again and again try to try to bring out some more of the green color. And then I used a little bit of my thinner and just a little bit of paint to help blend out the paint. Once that was dry, I then base coated all of my monitor screens with some Vallejo Goblin Green. Now this color is just a little bit darker than the Escorpina Green. And I find that if you use a darker color than your OSL, the OSL looks a little bit more natural. Once that was dry, I then began doing my grid work with going back to the Escorpina Green. And I did some very, very faint vertical lines. Now, these aren't going to be my final lines. These are almost going to be an OSL to my final grid lines. I'm doing just a general grid. I want the finished product to be fairly abstract. And so I'm going to be slowly layering up my colors. Once I was happy with my base grid, I then went in with some P3 white paint, and I'm going to be doing my final grid work. I'm going to be doing my grid a little bit lighter. I'm using a very, very fine brush for this. And I'm just making my gridding just a little bit more pronounced. On top of my grid work, I'm also hitting the top of all of the monitors to add a little bit of a glare effect. And then once I was happy with my grid work, I then let that dry, and then I prepared to blend all of my colors, to, all of my layers together with some Beal Tan Green. I don't want the detail on the screens to take away from the entire model, and so I'm going to be using the Beal Tan Green to blend all of my colors in, so that you can't really pick out any of the finer details in the grid work. Because I don't want, I don't want anything within the screens to be the important focal point. I want the whole panel itself. Once that was dry, I then added some blips as if there was some targets on the radar, and then I used I just dotted a lot. I dotted a little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet. And then to blend out the dots, I then added a little bit a little dot of Citadel Shade Coraborg Crimson. This is giving almost a little bit of an OSL to the dots, and it helps it look a little bit more natural within the screen. Then, to knock down all of my blips on my monitors, I added just a little bit more of the P3 whites. I put a small dot near the center of each of the blips, and this is going to help tone down the contrast and blend all of my shapes together. And there you have a finished computer screen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, you can leave a comment if you have any ideas or techniques you'd like to see us do. You can follow us at Facebook at EOB Fans, and you can follow us at Twitter at Eons of Battle. Thanks for watching.